In the top 10 NBA players with the most potential, each player you'll see ranked today is under the age of 25 and played at the very most three NBA seasons. With two seconds left, he's going to knock this down. Two, there's two seconds. There's the knockdown. Like and subscribe to the channel, hit the bell to get notifications anytime I make a video. Also, follow your boy on Instagram and Twitter at DFlowHoops. Now, let's get into this. Number 10, John Collins. Only five players in the NBA averaged 20 points and 10 rebounds per game this past season, and only Collins did so without being his team's primary option. The 23 year old Hawks forward posted 21.6 points, 10.1 rebounds, and 1.6 blocks per game. After he returned off a 25-game suspension for a failed drug test, Collins was the only Atlanta Hawk besides Trey Young that posted a positive offensive rating at plus 1.4. Additionally, Collins had a defensive rating of minus 0.4, which is really good considering the Hawks as a team had a defensive rating of minus 5.1. Collins and Carl Anthony Towns were the only players this past season to average 20 points and 10 rebounds on at least 40% three-point shooting. His defensive rotations are also at an elite level, whether he gets a hand on a shot or not. But the biggest flaw in John Collins' game is his lack of playmaking ability. He's great at operating in the pick and roll slash pop as the screener. However, he's unable to be the ball handler. So if Collins' passing vision improves in those scenarios, he could become that much better. But based off the Hawks' record with and without him this past season, John's already pretty damn good. Number 9, De'Aaron Fox. Every year, Fox just gets better and better. He's fiery and can get to the rack whenever he wants using his patented blistering speed. But he's also a crafty scorer with an array of shots in his bag on the perimeter. The combination of top-notch athleticism and sound shooting mechanics on the perimeter give De'Aaron a great shot at being a multiple-time NBA All-Star in this league. Entering his fourth season at 22 years old, I can't wait to see how Fox builds off a 2020 campaign where he posted an impressive 48% field goal percentage and 21.1 points per game in 51 outings. Number 8, Bam Adebayo. So Bam Bam fans, hear me out. If I was evaluating talent right now, this man Adebayo would either be ranked number 2 or number 3 on this list. But to be clear, this ranking is based off the amount of unlocked potential each player has. Adebayo was one of two players who averaged 15 points, 10 rebounds, 4.5 assists, and 1 block. Reigning MVP Giannis was the other. Don't get me wrong though, Adebayo still got a long way to go in his development, and he can really be as good as he wants. Bam's already a beast in the paint, a supreme passer and ball handler for a center, plus he's a defensive player of the year in training on the other end. However, if this guy develops his jumper from the top of the key and beyond, he'd be insane. And he's certainly shown some development in that area. His percentage from 10 to 16 feet was at its highest this past year. And I'm interested to see where his mid-range stroke's going to be come December 22nd, aka the 2021 season tip-off. I also think his post-game can get even more polished than it already is, but overall with Bam, you have to give credit where it's due and call him a top three center in the league right now as he was just the second fiddle on a team that came up two wins short of winning the championship, so fans in South Beach should be pretty hyped about his future. Number 7, Zion Williamson. Is he the next LeBron? Maybe that's a little strong, but then again, so is Zion. And ball misses the three, and Zion takes it away from Giannis, and a foul! He regularly collapses defenses despite battling a loose handle and inconsistent jumper, but even as he learns on the job, the former Duke Blue Devils upside is obviously immense. His per 100 possession averages include 34.1 points and 12.9 rebounds. Williamson also put up a ridiculous 61.6% true shooting percentage. Only three other players cleared 34 and 12 per 100 possessions and posted a 60 plus true shooting percentage. Giannis Adetokounmpo, Anthony Davis, and Carl Anthony Towns. A ton of Zion's success is attributed to the fact that he's such an absurd athlete for his size. He can straight up bully his opponents with his strength and hops. The problem is we're so early into Williamson's career that the range of possible outcomes is too wide to bump him up any higher on this list. Presumably he's going to work to correct his few flaws and find better ways of emphasizing his strength. Let's hope he stays healthy too. Number 6, John Morant. His fashion and ferocity fit the modern league well enough, but watching Morant requires constant personal reminders that you're witnessing a 20-year-old rookie in action. 
Everything he did in his rookie year resembled a player that had been in the league for a decade plus. The number two pick out of Murray State in last June's draft received 99 of 100 possible first place votes for Rookie of the Year. He's Russell Westbrook's successor both physically and ideologically, an all-universe athlete whose unparalleled nightly energy make him a nightmare to play against. Moving forward, Morant's going to need to become more comfortable from distance and a bit more consistent with his decision making, but that's about the only thing keeping him outside of the top five. His game looked as good as it gets for a rookie. Number five, Trey Young. If ESPN's real plus minus metric can be taken as gospel, then you're looking at this season's second best offensive player and the very worst defender. What's a player like that even worth? Clearly, I think quite a bit. His handle and inside the gym shooting range reminds you of Stephen Curry, and Young might edge the two-time MVP in playmaking. Although Curry gets the nod in close range finishing and all things defense, Young has more 40-point games before the age of 22 than anyone not named Kevin Durant or LeBron James. Trey's sophomore campaign saw him become only the fifth player to average 29 points and nine assists, and just the second to do so in one of his first NBA seasons. This doesn't completely forgive Young's turnstile defense, but he's certainly one of the league's five most promising youngsters, and Trey's silly range give the man all the potential in the world. Number four, Donovan Mitchell. It's a special thing when a player emerges from a star into a superstar, and the Spider made that jump in 2019-20. In his third season, Mitchell made his all-star debut, posted career highs across the board, and etched his name in the history books in the playoffs by dropping 57 points on 19 of 33 shooting from the floor. Dimitch posted the third highest scoring performance in NBA postseason history. Mitchell also dropped 51 in Game 4 of the West quarterfinals, and he and Murray in that same series joined Jordan and Iverson as the only players ever with multiple 50-point games in a single playoff series. While Mitchell's most dynamic when attacking the rim, he's becoming increasingly dangerous as a shooter. Mitchell's 33 three-pointers were the most in NBA postseason history for a seven-game series. So overall, this was a clear leap in a superstardom for Utah's 24-year-old phenom. And Donovan's hops and beastly slashing make the sky the limit for him. Number three, Ben Simmons. Don't let Ben's lack of a three-ball or his imperfect fit with Joel Embiid distort your view of his worth. Simmons is a walking triple-double threat who defends all five positions so he's clearly one of the league's elite young ballers. Inside the arc, he almost has no weakness. Sure, he could be more accurate from the charity stripe, and maybe his turnovers could come down a touch, but on any given night, he can go for some combination of 20 points, 10 rebounds, and 10 assists. Oh, and he'll do that well off in locking up the other team's top scorer, too. He's an all-world defender whose 6'10 frame and 7-foot wingspan allow him to maul offensive players. He's a 230-pound locomotive in the open court. As threatening as anyone outside of Giannis and LeBron when he gets a full head of steam, he's that good of a slasher. He's trickier to build around than others on this list because of his shooting, lack of shooting that is, but he could be a superstar in the right situation. Only the top two players on this list have consistently flashed a higher upside and the ability to reach it. Number two, Jason Tatum. The third year forward has snatched the title of Boston's best player, and there are zero reasons to think the 22 year old will relinquish it. Both a smooth shot creating artist and a relentless attacker of the basket, Tatum's got the entire package offensively. In 2020's regular season, he averaged eight more points per game than he did in 2018 19, to set a career high by far. 23.4 points per game. Jason made his first All-Star appearance this past February, but it was in the 2020 playoffs where JT really shined as he joined Jokic, Barkley, Oscar, and Adeta Kumpo to become one of six players under the age of 23 of all time to average at least 23, 10, and 5 in a playoff series. With the development Tatum's made since his rookie season, people tend to forget he's still just entering his fourth season in the league. His two-way impact perfectly suits the modern NBA. He's built to thrive in a playoff atmosphere with a mesmerizing combination of size, feel, strength, length, aggression, and pinpoint footwork. Honorable mentions to Shea Gilgis Alexander, Lonzo Ball, Kendrick Nunn, Michael Porter Jr., Jonathan Isaac, Mitchell Robinson, Tyler Harrow, and Jaron Jackson Jr. Number one, Luka Doncic. Luka is the only player on this list who will be ready to compete for an MVP trophy next season, 
others may eventually reach that level, but he's here now. And considering he's all of 21 years old, he's nowhere near his full potential. In his postseason debut on a bad ankle, through the six games, Luka became the fifth player in NBA history to average at least 30 points, 8 rebounds, and 8 assists for a playoff series. Doncic also set the NBA record for points in a player's first playoff game with 42. The Slovenian sensation was so special he earned the respect of the 2019 Finals MVP, Kawhi Leonard. He's a great player. Uh, I think his first playoffs uh, battled every minute he was out there on the floor, then back down, um, led his team every game, and you know he did a hell of a job out there. Luka's already a triple-double machine, and his game can still improve in so many areas. I said it already, but it's worth repeating. He's still 21, so it's not hard to imagine major improvements as he gains experience, especially when there's room to grow as a decision maker, a scorer on every level, and as a defender. It's possible no one on this list reaches the level Doncic is already at, and he could actually widen his lead on everyone else moving forward. Since we skipped Community Speaks last video, there's two comments or shoutouts for today. First, Miguel says that Jokic and Murray are the most dominant young duo in the league. And secondly, Hattie says that the Warriors being back on top is what he's most excited about for next season. The question for next video's shoutout is, which player on this list, other than Luka Doncic, would you start a franchise with? Keep watching some of my recent content. This was D-Flow. Thank you so much for tuning in today, and I'll see you next video.